Our world is a giant machine with billions of moving parts. Its primary fuel is oil. Here in the United States, 98% of our 300 million cars and trucks run on gasoline. Nearly 100% of our farm vehicles are diesel powered. 99% of our railways run on diesel as well. And all of our planes fly on jet fuel. Oil is not only our main transportation fuel, it also provides nearly 50% of all our energy needs. Petrochemicals are also the basic compounds in the majority of our day-to-day -day products, like plastics, asphalt, tires, polyester, as well as cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Petroleum fueled the technological expansion of America and the world. It was in planes, trains, and automobiles. Cheap and plentiful, oil was both the goose and the golden egg, stimulating progress that seemed as if it would go on forever. But in the 1950s, a crack appeared. Shell Oil's chief geologist, M. King Hubbard, came to an ominous conclusion. In 1956, he made a prediction that the U.S. dominance in oil would come to an end around 1970, when our ability to extract oil from U.S. wells would start to decline. It was not very well received at the time, because people thought that the supply of oil would go on increasing exponentially forever. That's because during the 1950s, the U.S. had thousands of productive oil wells, pumping 10 million barrels a day. But since we used only 7 million, we were able to export our surplus. At the time, the world was consuming 20 million barrels of oil a day. And the U.S. was providing half of the world's oil. But Hubbard's prediction proved correct. After 1970, U.S. production peaked and began to slip. Since 1970, the U.S. has been producing, on average, less oil every year. Today, the U.S. produces only 8.3 million barrels of oil each day, yet consumes more than 20 million barrels. There was a second part to Hubbard's prediction. He calculated that world oil production would peak during the early part of the 21st century and slide into permanent decline. Some experts today believe his peak oil theory has already been confirmed. A report issued in February 2007 by the U.S. Government Accountability Office states that world oil production is expected to peak sometime within the next few decades. But despite this prediction, the federal government hasn't devised a plan to deal with the frightening consequences. If we wait until we're absolutely certain that oil has peaked, we've missed the boat. We've run out the clock. We haven't run out of oil. What we've run out of is readily accessible, high quality, low cost oil. There will be oil around for another 100, 150 years. Ever more difficult to get, ever more costly. As the world's oil supplies become depleted, we could be faced with rationing, social unrest, and even war. The demand for oil keeps increasing, particularly with China and India becoming nations of drivers. And with the demand increasing and the supply decreasing, there, there will be a crunch. The sobering reality we face is that we can no longer count on getting oil as cheaply and easily as we have in the past.